Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -ball. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, here is This Bruce is Bar the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Evan Dunham. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, yeah. go back to Mission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Next with a right. Just misses with the right hook. Knees to the body. Donald gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Bleeding from his cheek now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch.
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Straight punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Keep that pressure high now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Came with inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful punch. with that roundhouse kick, but just missed. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dunham gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Dunham gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, nice knee to the bottom, just what he needed there. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports. Oh, oh, he's the front thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He went high on that one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, misses with the jab. Donna presses forward, lands nicely with that jab. Plus right hand is true. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Good punch, Lance. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, head kick Lance. He's hurt. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landing those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is gonna be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch, Lance. Spinning back fist. Caught the kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice. Oh, 
that's a good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Just misses with the right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Unable to connect with the right. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big shot land. Oh, nice. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he caught the kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch land over the top. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Oh, nice right hand. Head kick. Way to hide that leg. Connects with the punch there. Dunham's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Final seconds here of round number two. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fights with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He missed with that jab attempt there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Dunham's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He's got the turtle in that kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Dunham gets caught with that punch. Got to shore off the defense here. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on it. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Back and forth we go. Nice head kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Back to the feet now. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Great punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also... What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And landed some nasty strikes. Kick. He took that whole kick, yep. 
Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Beautiful body kick. All right, so leg kicks on, leg kicks the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay. Yeah, he was, I mean, what a display of high-level striking. What a display of getting the leg to the target very, very quick. So quick that your opponent cannot react. Great job. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Punch over the top. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Right hand on point. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Dunham's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. with the knee of the body. Missed with that right hand. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. to the body here, but strong defense by Dunn. Big kick land. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Slips. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. 90 seconds remain in the round. Nice leg kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Nice punch there by Evan Dunn. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Dunham snaps off a jab. Dunham's kick to the body is blocked. And once
once again looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Dunham gets hit by that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. What a punch. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will meet Motrin tomorrow. Oh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Right punches there. Oh, that kick is good. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. There's no give. Throwing that jet. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He high, and now he's got hurt fast. Look at him lift his hip into that kick. Dunham going for the head kick. He misses there. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big head kick lands. Now connects with a right. Unable to connect with a right hand. There. Oh man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Beautiful kick. Force behind that. Oh, and like Harris lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 47 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! 
celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion.